All right, let's go check out the damages of the week. Just start with the big one. Thanks, definitely. Not the worst thing. I kind of want to start doing more TOB, but I don't know how much time I'll have. Five Festa Longswords. You can suck the fattest of dicks. A briefcase. And Toad Flex. Uh, fuck me, bro. Damn, bro. Look at Ghost. Tebow. A Relic. Steel Titan Pouches. And Dragon Blade Skirts for his tasks. What a lucky son of a bitch. Well, now we're at 1874 tokens. Just bought two elixirs. Really didn't go up for shit. Ooh, Goba got a Scythe of Fitur Elite, but I have no idea how many Scythes we own, so I might have to check that before I throw one in. Yeah, we got four Scythes at the moment. We only really use three at the most. I don't think it's that bad of a thing to throw away, and we'll probably get more if we start doing TOB. Unfortunately, though, my hard task is a little harder. <laughs> Trading sticks, raw mantle ray, that's easy. Molten gauntlets. I think we almost had boots, but molten are very fucking rare. Wish crest wasn't the only way to get them, honestly. They are fucking rough to obtain. Um, I already forgot my tasks. Yeah, Goba has got everything except for molten gauntlets. I'm gonna go ahead and go with a untradeable box on his account. Test our RNG once again, and it's a shit. Unlucky. Aha, I forgot to record it, but another box on Flubber, which gave an unbound grand prize key. Which means I have to get some mystery chests. Of course, he doesn't have any. I really wish these would work on like uh, pet mystery boxes and give like three or four rolls. That would be sick. Spent all of my hard earned divine shots once again on a little M chest. I'm gonna make two just in case. Oh yeah, love back to backers. Um, Alright, good luck. Of course, no Falcon and no guarantee it will even save the key. But it does for a prime escape. That is nice for potential Grand Max hunting later. Profound Gen, the rest is kind of very saddening, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, let's put that all away. I can't even trade that. Another didn't save. And SGS is the literal best thing I got from it. Wow. That's uh, not great. All right, boys, starting the day off with a few little crests to open. See if we can get lucky on something. Arkan boots, Arkan boots, huh, hmm. interesting. I mean, that's 7K room coins. Oh, it was actually the last boots we needed. I guess we can save uh, one set for the time we get a uh, Grand Boots Eye Elite Task again. That is very nice. We just need some warrior gloves as well, but we'll take it. Well then boys, just doing a little bit of early day next. It's uh, almost 9 a.m. for me. Trying to get a bit of gaming time in while the puppy is sleeping <laughs> together with the girlfriend. So might be able to get a little bit of uh, play time here. Hopefully we can get some nice kills, maybe finish the daily. Would be nice. And who knows, maybe we'll even see some Torval eggs or a Harbringer. Easy game, lags on the first kill. No, never that lucky, eh? Ooh, Tuggy with a Nile Horn, Gretz. That's a drop. All right, didn't end up doing my Soul Hunter last week because I just didn't get around to it. I'm gonna check my task real quick. Four reanimated KQ is already pretty shitty. 54 Barrows, 66 Fire Shades, and 20 Green Dragons. Would love to get more points. Last week I had all my attacks, so I did get some points by just raiding. But not quite enough, as you can see. 700 soul points for a Wonder Elixir, and I have 1169. But yeah, there's a lot of good stuff in here. I should really start doing those tasks. But first, I want to finish that next daily. But after I came back, they had just started killing a new one. So I gotta wait for that one to die, and then I'll join. Alright then, this should be my last next for the daily. Mess left after I came back. Sadly, no drops, but uh, got my daily at least, and it was doubled, so that's very nice. Had to solo three of them, goddamn. But we did it. Just took a little longer than uh, masses, obviously. Probably be checking in on my daily thing. I haven't done this all that much. I'm losing out on really great items here by not doing that. Oh, there's still 11 days and 22 hours. That's plenty of time. But I do want to go ahead and do a quick few dailies. We got a cracker. We'll save that to open on Ghost or Tie. Alright, finished a bunch of fine shades for the medium step, which was also a daily at the same time, so I figured I may as well kill however many I needed. 
into 79 fire giants, but you get some nice points from it. So we're already back at 1400 and now for the second elixir, just by doing a little medium task, this is not too bad at all. Just gotta do everything if you wanna get like proper rewards on top of it. All right, completed the Barrows daily, but since we have quite a few to kill for our hard task, just gonna keep going and get that done. Honestly, the mall is really fucking nice here, especially when you spec and you recharge every time you kill something. So you'll get the spec back by the time you run out of spec. You won't hit them quite often, it's just 100 HP, it's not a lot. Fire Shades, ironically enough, I didn't one-shot them all that much, they're only 200 HP, but struggling, even with procs. I got unyieldings going off, like a 9 point something percent chance, I got 25% chance for Inquisitor set to go off and double hit. I am mall specced and the Executioner can proc, yet I think from the entire Fire Shade task, like 60 something kills, I saw a one hit maybe two of them, but that was kind of surprising, it's definitely not as good as you would expect to be honest, but you know, gets the job done. It's still pretty fucking good, but I feel like I could have used Crestover with a Holy Rapier Eye, because they are one by one, so you can't use Heli or some shit. And I could have probably one-shot him more often than had I used the Maul with Full Executioner. Which seems a little odd. You would think with 277 or 270 strength bonus, you would see quite a lot of one-shots with all the procs going off, but surprisingly enough, you do miss quite often. Look, that was a double hit, but it hit a 44 total damage. That's kind of what I mean. Crazy. But it is nice to get some more caskets as well as the Elite Barrel Scrolls. Maybe do some more of that in the near future. Alright, quickly finished all the easy Soul Wanderers for 50 mystery shots. Hey, that's pretty good. A fire Giants from a fucking medium though, I don't like that at all. And 55 corpor cor 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 corpse, 50, 55 corpse, okay? Corporal Beast. Um, I guess I can do some corpse, not the end of the world. Do I have everything? No, 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 I do not have everything, okay. Alright, I'm gonna try and go a little bit hard on uh, Corporal Beast with the Maul and the Draco Warhammer to lower death and all of that. Dropping pets to get spec back, the whole nine yards. I'm gonna try and get a Slayer task for the drop rate bonus, epic luck tokens, uh, because we need all of that. We still need a Divine Sigil, we could get one of those. We could make our next Intrinsic Spirit Shield and I think that would be pretty cool. So I do want to go ahead and... Uh, you know, do my best to try and get one at least. We only have to do 55 kills, but I may as well make the most of it. You know, drop the falcon when it dies and all of that stuff. So yeah, see you guys in an hour or two when I finally get a Slayer task for it. Haha. <laughs> Holy shit. I am shredding corp. Holy fuck. Just crazy hits. It's been a little while since I've done this the last time. Not that long ago, but we duoed it with ghosts and stuff, so it's a little different. That was a fast as fuck kill. I mean, I was using a Brackish Blade before, which wasn't bad, but it definitely didn't land every hit. As well, Elixir on the first kill, we'll take that. But uh, yeah, this is pretty fucking good, man. Not gonna lie. The mole specs on top of like lowering the defense, like if we go for a Draco Hammer, it's so unlikely to miss in the first place. Look, there we go. Death is gonna be lowered. And then we have to wait in this scenario a little bit to get spec back so we can use another uh, mole spec. Oh man, if only Public Corp wasn't um, like way more HP and stuff, because then I could just use Home to Recharge, but I don't think that's going to be worth it for... Well, maybe actually, I just teleported home in between it. I could put the portal a little closer to each other, use Legendary Zone to teleport in and out, but you also got to set up the cannon and everything. It does take a little while. I don't know if that's going to be worth it. But I'll play around a little bit, see what does and doesn't work, all of that good stuff. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, at this point it's barely even worth setting up the cannon. I might as well just <clears throat> teleport to Legendary Kill, charge up the first mole there, go in, double Drake a Warhammer, drop my pets for more. That way I can reuse the mole spec when I uh, run out of the 30 seconds. And then continue killing it, and that is basically a kill done pretty fucking nicely to be honest like right there okay I'll just show you guys it's easier than explaining right teleport home try and drop my pet shit had a little bit of a delay go over here mall spec click portal go in get ready with the hammer 
to go to the core portal. It is a little bit of walking, I'm not gonna lie. I could definitely put it a little closer, but whatever. Don't even bother placing down the cannon at this point. I don't think it's worth it. it takes a little too long and then you waste 30 seconds of the mole spec thingy, you know? I get a little bit of benefit from it. And then just continue killing it. And because there is quite a bit of time between every kill and you teleporting home and stuff, you can drop your pets again and get more special attack. I think this is the way I'm gonna be doing this for a little while. Works pretty damn well. By the way, I don't think I've mentioned this before, but if you guys remember from when I enchanted them all, it cost a infernal heart. And uh, I already knew it did this, but I don't think I've mentioned it be before. But every time you use the mall spec, let me show you guys real quick, it's 117 at the moment. Use the mall spec and it boosts you to 180 melee stats because of the infernal heart. I think it's a nice little additional boost that you get. Um, saves a bit on potions. Might be nice in the decay raids where your stats constantly get leeched. If I end up specking a lot with the mole, I will just consistently be getting my uh, my, 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 my stats back up. Jesus, that had to come from very far away. If only it wasn't enchanted art. Ooh, that would have been nice. Oh man, we just got an arcane sigil. That is not the one we are looking for, but it's a sigil nonetheless. We'll take that. Uh, spirit shields for the wanderer can be a pain in the ass to obtain if you uh, don't have one in the bank. Eh, Ricardo froze there for a minute, but uh, another arcane. Unlucky. Okay, what the fuck is this? Another arcane? Hello? Stop it. Uh, okay, I really want a divine man. What the fuck? 